<laughs> jump up. <laughs> yeah. That's how my mom is as well. All right, we're all oh, in. now you're on the downhill. Oh, there you go. No, okay. I'm not used to having this. Do you feel, like you're, people you feel here. like you're in the Netherlands? I, I, yeah, I, feel I like know. I'm in yeah. The so we have a very special video for you guys today. Mrs. W has been so excited to have you guys come out. The folks at Rain Tree have come out to help us with our orchard yep. and to do some planting. So what do you have in store for us today? Well, today we're going to be uh, showing you how to heal in trees when you first get your fruit trees. If you don't have time to plant them all in a day, we're going to show you how to plant your tree, how to do some site selection, species selection, pollinators, things like that uh, for prepping your planting project. And then we're uh, going to do a little bit of grafting, hopefully, and um, some pruning. Oh, all right. What did you bring? Oh, okay. This is... That is a lot of You want to see what's... This, this does not look like my What's typical... inside truck number one? Yes. Ooh. Where's the? Oh, where's ah. the? We, we can drop what we got in here. The order. Let's look at the order and see. So normally when I get stuff from yeah. Rain Tree, it's a small box. Right. It doesn't look like this. Right. This is much more exciting. Yeah. So yeah. I'll take I'll take the little one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want you to, oh, oh. Yeah, of course. The lady size. <laughs> these these actually are not. These are grapes. Perfect. You want to do here? Is yeah, that yeah, place? yeah. Yeah, because it's already a little bit dug out. So we're going to put in a big hole about two feet deep, two and a half feet wide, throw the trees in, water, 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 and then dirt on top. Exactly. Dirt north side top. of the building. And the north side of the building. So it's shady. So it's shady and all day. And about two weeks is about as long as we want to keep them in. Probably this late in the season since we're in the beginning of June now. It, if it was dormant in the winter, you could keep them there for months. <laughs> James actually got his wish. He's getting a workout right now. You can see he's digging. Oh boy, this dirt's a little harder than I thought it was. Where's Jack when we need him, right? Built-in babysitter. Now I see why you guys wanted to have us out. <laughs> so now we're ready to take the trees out of the package and put them in a the hole so you can use these Felco pruners to kind of, we can prune a few of the, uh, these are like Felco 8s from Switzerland and they're one of the best varieties. There you go. Oh, they, they close on themselves. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a little okay. lock. Good to know. There you, go. you could use a knife. It is a bench made. This is the one that always gets lost. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the third one. Why is it so exciting to get new trees? You know, I, I've wondered that as well. I didn't understand it before, but now I do and I still can't explain it. It's just, it's a great feeling when you see a a project that you've been thinking about. Most people think about this all year, you mm -hmm. know, on some level. And once the stuff shows up, it's nice to actually do something about what you've been dreaming about. So tell me about the paper. Well, it's all shredded newspaper. And what does it do? Well, it keeps the roots moist when we ship the plants to people. And then what do you do with it afterwards? And then you can use it on your compost pile afterwards. And the box that it usually comes in, uh -huh. you can use, as you can see here, put the box to hold the dirt that you get, because if you just take the dirt out of the hole and you just put it in the grass, it's hard to get recover it. it. This is just amazing that this is, you know, a seed. I mean, not now, because you've yeah. grafted them, but yeah, it's fascinating, isn't it? Yeah. And that you're going to get fruit from it. Yeah. You're going to get fruit from it, and, it's, and most of these trees are going to last an average of 100 to 200 years. Yeah. And it's as old as time. Yeah, so as people say, exactly. well, I'm too old to plant fruit trees. So we'll, Plan for someone We're else. all too old to plant fruit trees. Like a chestnut tree might live 900 years. You know, a baby is going to only be around for 10% of its life, of the life of the tree. So so maybe that's partly why it's so exciting to get them and plant them because you realize you're doing something that's going to last way past your lifetime. Why don't we choose the tree that we're going to plant? <laughs> <laughs> that's a really smart so idea before like the we dig them all in the hole. Okay, so what, what would you recommend if we were going to plant the next tree over here? 
Well, I'm going to say a plum. Do you see that green tag right there? This that, guy? Yeah, that's a cherry. All right, let's grab this guy. I hear, I've heard a little of that Midwest accent coming out. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm starting to pick oh, up on uh, it now. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. You don't know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've you got... You make it up to Sheboygan for the crazy days? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My hometown, Always, every we have every year. crazy days every year. The, uh, yeah. We do, yeah. So what are you doing, Sam? Well, I'm trying to lay out maybe 15 feet apart and maybe 20 feet between the rows so you have room to drive your tractor between it. And we're gonna see how many more trees we're gonna fit right here inside the fence. So Sam, I know there's a lot of interest uh, in folks wanting making cider. Right. Um, I can imagine that's kind of changed. Is that? If you, do you see a lot of demand for cider apples now? Yeah, there's a huge demand for cider apples. There's starting to be a bunch of commercial cideries even in Oregon, Washington, now. So there's special apples that are really tart, and they're really bitter. They have a lot of tannic acid in them. One of them is called Kingston Black, another one is called Fox Whelp. And when you eat them, they taste really bad because they're really bitter and they kind of dry your mouth out. But if you add about 20% of those to cider, it makes delicious ciders, both hard ciders and sweet ciders. What have you done? I really wanted to get some electrical out here and I just was trying to find it. So the electrical <laughs> runs for this whole huge area. This one three quarter inch electrical line runs to the ground and right. runs a few holes that we put in. Oh, found it? She we found, found it. it. Oh no. Nice, huh? It's been a shocking experience. Oh, <laughs> yeah. See, that's, oh, the, man. that's the Midwestern humor right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to, yeah, I'm surprised is. you didn't laugh at that. Yeah, right. <laughs> he was laughing inside. Uh, yeah, I was laughing on the inside. <laughs> Call before you dig. Never know what you'll find. We have a special visitor. Sweet loaf. Sweet loaf. Good morning, sweet loaf. I don't think we're planting bananas today. <laughs> oh, that was rude. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. Mhm. Mm sweet loaf. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we're planting the peach tree first because it's the sunniest spot. All right, let's get to work. All right, well, we're going to plant the peach tree okay. first. And peach trees help, and we've done this for about an hour but it's good to do at least an hour, maybe even a few hours, is put them in water in a bucket and let them soak, okay. and it'll soak up some moisture, which this has already done. When you dig a hole with a, the machine, it gets really hard sides, and so you wanna use a hoe or something and break the sides up. Otherwise, your roots will just go around and around and around, and you want them to be able to go all the way into the dirt. Good to work. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> That's probably good. Now let's use the shovel and, and pose, really break up the sides if you can. What the mycorrhizae, and these are bags of mycorrhizae. There's native mycorrhizae that are already in these soils. But what is mycorrhizae? Mycorrhizae is like... It's a fungus that's symbiotic with the root system. Okay. So almost all plants have a fungus that is symbiotic to their species. And this just basically helps with the fruit trees. Um, it's that beneficial fungus that allows them to help absorb nutrients from the soil. Oh, okay. 
So we inoculate the roots with this myco. It, it really pack. helps a lot to get your trees growing well. Yeah. So you're gonna build a little cone in the bottom so the roots can go down and around. And then the water will go to the edges so they'll suck it up, all the water and the nutrients. And then take, put your hands near, get a couple big handfuls and mix it in with the dirt because as, oh. we, as we mix it back in, we'll have it, the fertilizer mixed in. Okay. Perfect. Here's the myco packs, and these are the ones that we're going to actually put in contact with the soil. And a good guide is one myco pack for each foot of tree. So if these are four to five feet tall trees, we'll put four or five myco packs. Oh, and where do you put them? Right on the roots. Yeah, you want them in contact with the roots so that they're okay. not going to spread. So here, you can get ready for that. And then let's go ahead and trim the, so we can kind of set it in a hole. See we don't, not going to have to do a lot of trimming. But Again. go ahead and trim off any broken roots oh. that you see. So what would you consider a broken root? Well, anything root? that's kind of... Uh, I'd, I'd say I, anything... I, I think the people at Rain Tree Nursery did a really good job of preparing it, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anything past about here. It was here. you, right? <laughs> oh, they did this part? No, probably not. There was other people... <laughs> Wait, so trim here? About yeah. there, that length. Go ahead and do that with, all around. Okay. Yeah. The there roots. A uniform root fall. Oh. Doesn't have to, yeah, you just don't want any... Any really runners. big long ones. Yeah, these, these guys. In other right words, here, you, would... if you had a huge long root, you could dig twice as big a hole, but it's totally unnecessary. No, so. I didn't do any of this the last time. Oh, okay. See, it's good you're out here. We're, okay. we're not gonna have That's a soil, good. huh? Okay, and now go ahead and get your mycorrhizae and just lay them kind of in contact with the roots. There you go. Yeah, there's good. Yeah, so they kind of get the roots as they're going out. Okay, now, so that's good. If you had more clay in the soil than you guys do, like if you're out east, uh, it helps to fill the hole up about halfway, then flood it with water and let it consolidate a little bit, then continue filling up the hole to get some of those air bubbles out. Then the question is, what do you want to use for mulch? You can use cardboard, you can use you straw. And I have some, a lot of straw. So a straw would be good. And okay. So it would be important to do that because otherwise you, you don't want the weeds all to go around here. So now it's time to prune the tree. And remember, since when we dug the tree up, we had to cut the roots back quite a ways. Yeah. Well, we, st we may want to cut the top back so that they match? it can be supported by the roots. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so we I don't... can see a beautiful pink that's starting to bud. Right. We it, Yeah. The peaches have beautiful pink flowers they're just barely mm -hmm. starting to bud but the reason we don't prune them all back completely as far as when we plant them is because people will then think that they didn't get a very good tree because most of it's cut off ah. but when you start out with your trees it's really important to prune them back and what we do we do each step and then we think about it step back so here are these all the branches that are growing kind of inwards uh -huh. I was, I've heard it should be an open vase, right? Yeah, yes. all the, all the branches from. going inwards. In for sunlight and Let's take yeah. those off. You're looking for a bud that's going outwards. Yeah, you can see and here. You, a, and you cut off it. In. A new branch is going to come out of this bud here. So we're going to cut it right above the bud and promote branching. And a $15! <laughs> you just cut off 15 <laughs> I know. We've actually had people come to the nursery and say that. How could you do well, that? Well, it's hard when it's got all this stuff and you're... You're yeah, taking right. it all away. Right. Yeah, Another good like... thing is think of pruning as trimming your hair rather than cutting off your arm, and uh, you'll feel a little differently. About yeah, well, it. you know. <laughs> <laughs> good thing I look good with short hair, right? <laughs> right. And an outside bud, cut a little angle above it, right about in there. Okay. Yeah, so you see that bud there? Yeah. A little ways above. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> Now, is it kind of flat or is it okay? Does I need to angle it more or is it okay? Generally, it doesn't matter too much, okay. but I would angle it a little bit if you could. And, and so, kind of even them out. Find one going out this way, a bud, and cut off above so it. So, like right above here? Yeah, somewhere in there. Part of this pruning is going to help the tree stay low, so it's a lot easier to pick the fruit as well. He's getting to be rowdy around yeah, here. <laughs> so, something that Better everybody... Better not ask a bad question. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're the one of those. So, a question here is, we just cut these. Do we need to put something on the on them or just leave no, them alone? No, they, they've shown that it'll... Most wounds will heal itself. You really don't need to... You, but you want to usually do it on a, when it's not raining and stuff. But oh, okay. on a dry day, it will heal itself, and you do not have to put a sealant on it. And if it's raining, what happens? A fungus or like wetness. In general, you shouldn't okay. prune when it's raining. Oh, I didn't know that. No, because there's all kinds of of uh, fungus and stuff that can get 
you know, into your, and also the thing you can, if there's fungus on the tree, like anthracnose is a really bad problem in Oregon, Western Oregon, Western Washington, uh -huh. and it's moved around by people pruning their trees in the rain and getting it on oh. there and then moving it to another tree. Oh, interesting. Okay. So the other thing is we always carry alcohol with us whenever we prune. I'm the old moonshiners used to do that too, but we do it for a different reason. We don't want though. to hear about your drinking problem. Right. No, we, we do it because uh, we st that's a good way to sterilize your pruners. So one of your tools when you're going around and pruning is have a, a spray bottle of, of alcohol and just spray your pruners whenever you move from tree to tree so you don't spread fungus problems around. Okay, smart. Tell me about this. Okay, that's a permanent label. Okay. And it's aluminum and you can... Uh, Right Go ahead it? and write on it and emboss it with a pencil or a pen. 2018. And then what else? The it's, rootstock? The rootstock. Is, you can put Lovell rootstock. L-O-V-E-L-L. -L -L. Lovell rootstock. rootstock. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> and, this, and this one, you can leave it on there for now, but in about a year, it won't be able to read that or the plastic will break off. So those plastic labels only last for about a year. So we've had a fabulous day here with Sam and James from Rain Tree Nursery and so appreciated all of the help that they gave us today and I learned a ton. Yeah, I really do appreciate you guys coming out. We uh, yeah. we're kind of a little bit stagnant with the uh, with the the or with the orchard sometimes it becomes a little overwhelming and you don't really know what to do so you end up not doing anything yeah. in fear of doing something wrong. Uh, so just a few things that you showed us about pruning and, and the rule of hands. You know, you know, now I can come out here and I'll know, you know, I'm out here, I can do those things and then I'm actually mm -hmm. not going to be hurting anything. So I really appreciate that. So we have, uh, we planted one tree today. <laughs> you guys brought a couple <laughs> dozen. So I, I know uh, all, my, all my list and my dirt biking just got wiped off the table. And <laughs> what we'll be doing for the next week is we'll be planting and we'll, we'll bring that, we'll show you uh, kind of what we have and we'll do some more on that. But okay. I know Mrs. W is happy. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we would like to, uh, we are just very supportive of your company. That's why we inv invited you out here. Uh, we have used Rain Tree. Uh, for uh, years and years. Yeah, all um, of our trees that we have already are. Mrs. Mrs. W yeah. looks at your catalog every year, and what's cool is it's always an event. In the springtime, <laughs> she orders the trees, and it's hard to believe that they actually come in the mail. Yes, right. Uh, so yes. you guys ship all over the place, and yeah. you can ship, you have a thousand different trees, is that right? A thousand different varieties. Yeah. Varieties, yeah. A thousand yeah. different varieties, and we ship all over the United States. UPS comes to our door every day, and we fill up their yeah, we, we have our own UPS Trust truck, trailers. basically. Yeah, yeah <laughs> every your own, day. Your own yeah. truck. Yeah. And so it is Ju June yeah. now. Is it too late to order now for most parts of the country? We're, we're still shipping potted plants, but for bare root plants, uh, we're going to stop selling them here on June 10th. Okay. And you can always pre-order uh, for the next year. And that's a really good way to guarantee that you get the trees that you want. It's... Um, it, that way we can work with our suppliers okay. and with our propagation. So trees will sell out? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Um, Yep. So what we'd like to do is um, uh, we'd like to maintain a relationship with you guys and maybe we'll see how it goes, but maybe in a year or so you guys can come back and, and see how we did and how everything is surviving or thriving, hopefully, not just surviving. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but we really appreciate you guys making the long drive down here. It was an honor to meet you. Well, and, thanks. Um, we really enjoyed it. it and we did enjoy fun. it. So thanks, thanks for coming What a beautiful down. place. Thanks. Yeah, it's fantastic. Well, thank you. Yeah, thanks, we really thank you. you so much. Yeah. Thanks. And also for the subscribers, they are going to generously give a discount code, and so we'll put it down below. Yeah, oh, check okay. below for the right. discount okay. code. Yeah, and so I'll uh, let I'll they'll let me know what that is. I'll put that in the subject heading as well as a link uh, to the website to Rain Tree. So Great. good folks, you guys have a sterling reputation, and it's uh, it's a real honor to have you here. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank yeah, thanks, you. guys.